Hey all, my name's Chance. I'm going to show you how to use Game Center. I'm going to show you what it looks like first. Basically, launch your app. App's going to load. Uh, it's going to load the data. It's going to log you in at the top here. You can see that. Uh, we have two buttons. Show achievements. Uh, these are achievements that I've gone about creating in the iTunes Connect uh, Manage Applications uh, Game Center area. Uh, and we got a leaderboard. Obviously, I've done some testing. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the basic general functions. Uh, in future episodes, I'm going to show you how to go about adding values, uh, adding achievements, adding leaderboards, uh, and working with the score system, doing the voiceover, multiplayer, all that later. You got it first here. It's not on YouTube now. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go into Xcode, new project. We're going to make this uh, pretty easy. Uh, make sure you've already gone and created an app in your iTunes Connect uh, and gone about copying the bundle identifiers. So we're going to call it uh, Game Center Test because I probably got 20 of them named like this right now. I'm going to move this over here. Obviously, one of the things we're going to want to do, sorry I'm talking fast, it's only have 10 minutes, and I hate putting videos in two parts. Uh, we're going to add the GameKit.Framework. Uh, that should be go about implementing some stages for us. A uh, couple other things. There is a, a test uh, application. Uh, it is called GK Tapper. Uh, I recommend that you guys get it if you are a developer and go about swing through the examples that it has and, and try to understand how it works. Uh, there's some great values and information, so I'm just going to go about importing this information. Um, the app specific values basically shows us uh, some of our bundle IDs. Our Game Center Manager is what goes about managing, authenticating, uh, so on and so forth. So we're going to need to go about importing this into our specific classes. Uh, specifically our view controller classes because that's where we're going to be working with most of our stuff. Uh, so let's go to our H and let's go about starting from scratch there. Uh, I'm going to do basic copy and paste because it is a little bit uh, hard to get this in 10 minutes. I tried doing it lastly and it was in 17 minutes. Uh, in the H file we're going to go about importing the game uh, game kit framework as well as the game center manager uh, dot H which is this information here. Um, that's going to help us later make everything a lot easier. Uh, secondly, we're going to have to add some delegate information uh, to our interface. Uh, so I'm just going to go about pasting that in here. Uh, if I move this all the way back, uh, we can go about kind of showing you. Uh, I've gone about adding the GK leaderboard view controller delegate comma GK achievement view controller delegate comma and the game center manager delegate uh, close brackets. Okay, so we've got that bit in there. Uh, now we actually need to go about adding uh, vital information to our actual application. Uh, so we honestly uh, need a Game Center Manager. Uh, need someone to take control of that. And then we just need some basic functions. We need some to help out the Game Center Manager. Uh, we also need two buttons. Uh, we've gone about creating the Show Leaderboard button, Show Achievement button, of course, these names here, you can change to whatever you want. Uh, and we've also got an information for current leaderboard. Um, that should help us in the future. Uh, once we go saving that information, we can go about building it. We're going to get some, you know, small, unexplained errors. Uh, that's okay because we haven't finished doing everything yet. Uh, let's go into our M file, our viewcontroller.m. Uh, I, I like to get rid of everything here that I don't need. Uh, it makes it more easier and clean code for me. Uh, we definitely do need that view did load function. Uh, that is probably the most keyest thing. Uh, that's where we're going to go about loading uh, the game center to actually load uh, when we launch the application. So uh, I'm going to go about specifying at first uh, the view did load. Uh, I want to make sure that the current leaderboard is this specific leaderboard. So you see K Easy leaderboard. Uh, you could rename that to whatever you want as long as it matches what this says. Uh, you could put this to find. Uh, even in your M file, that would work just fine. Um, and don't forget your bundle ID for that specific leaderboard category. I've gone about doing that already for mine. Uh, I actually need to go about adding my game center information here. Oh, and I do not have it, so it's comed up back to front. Uh, game center test done. Okay, so we've got about adding that. Let's go to our M file back to where the view did load so we get it to make sure that the leaderboard is that specific leaderboard uh, now we need to create a rule to basically load game center um, go about checking for authentication seeing if the user has a profile if it doesn't make him sign in uh, else if, if the user doesn't uh, I got a little UI alert view that just about says game support required current device is not supported or connected uh, please check sign in again whatever you want there uh, so if we go about building and running now, uh, let's go simulator, we'll save all, we're going to get an error, 
because there's a few things we haven't imported yet. Uh, like GKE's leaderboard. It's like, oh, hey, what is that? Um, well, we forgot to import some values here. I mean, uh, we are working with the game kit framework. Uh, we are also have these different uh, game center H files and app specific values. Uh, we need to go about importing them. Uh, we also need, need to do a few synthesizings. Uh, we need to do game center manager, uh, but we need to make sure that big G is a little G. Uh, always plays that trick on me. And current leaderboard. Uh, pretty much, you got those. You're good. Build. Go. Everything goes away. Let's build and run. It's going to open up in the simulator. Boom. As you can see, this is a good sign saying online connection has been made. The local user has been authenticated. And they are now logged into Game Center. So, step one of Game Center complete. Bravo, guys. You guys are great. If you have any questions, put your comments up on YouTube. I'm going for the next part here. So, we're going to go about adding those buttons. Yes, I am rushing everything pretty quick. I do apologize. Uh, I'm going to paste the whole code for the show leaderboard. Um, and I'm going to go about explaining it really, really, really quickly. Uh, so basically, you have your open uh, statement for the show leaderboard and the rules inside. Basically, GK leaderboard is going to be labeled that. Uh, we're going to load the view controller. We're going to allocate it. We're going to initialize it. And then if the leaderboard controller equals null, uh, do that. Um, and then we can assign certain things. The leaderboard controller, uh, we're going to say it loads this current leaderboard. Uh, we're going to say that they leaderboard controller time scope so instead of all time uh, you could change that to weekly uh, if you wanted but I like all time uh, of course we need to set delegate delegate self and then we need to present the model view controller to the actual user uh, giving the option to animate yes this little bit of code after it as you can see that would probably be just the first bit of coding that would work and do justice uh, but once the leaderboard controller uh, MVC model view controller loads uh, and you click the done button, it's going to crash on you. So you need to go about adding this void leaderboard controller did finish, basically saying the user clicked the done button uh, and to go about quitting the view controller uh, and, and releasing it. That's that's all that command right there. Uh, make it simple and quick. Let's go into Xcode and we'll go library and we'll add one button, two button, close. Achievement, leaderboard, sorry for my typing, once again I'm being rushed, files owner, show achievements, achievement, touch up inside, and show leaderboard, leaderboard, touch up inside, close, save, that's good, show leaderboard, now let's show achievements, achievements are pretty quick. I'm just going to copy and paste this information. All this information, of course, is going to be made available to you uh, below in the YouTube video. So, show achievement board. Uh, as the first thing we do, we load the GK achievement board, give it a name. We also allocate it and initialize it, create the rule, same thing applies. Uh, make sure we load the delegate, and then we present the model view controller. That'll go about loading the achievement board view controller. Like the leaderboard, it also has a problem when you click the done button. Uh, you need to go about doing its own view controller did finish function. Uh, when I get spawn, what I've done about is posting that below right there. Uh, self dismissed model view controller animated. Yes, we can say no if you don't want that straight up good smoothing anim animation, maybe for lower end devices, uh, even though Game Center is not really supported for them. Uh, but there is jailbreaks for it. View controller release. Yeah, okay, cool. Sorry I'm rushing, but uh, here we go. We save all, we run all, and we're going to wait for it to launch. And we know we have the login account, we have leaderboard achievement buttons that we've done. Uh, it's gone about loading my achievements to that test game app that I've created, uh, and then our leaderboard app, which gone about showing all time. So, I mean, I could show you really quickly here all time. Uh, you could change it week. And build and run, save, save all. Oop, need a K, need a K, need a K. And we go leaderboard, boom, this week. And then, you know, you, you, you get the hint, really. Cool, well, that's YouTube. Uh, YouTube Game Center, first here. Uh, nice and easy. Uh, Apple makes it hard, but uh, if you spend time with it like I did, I spent uh, all day yesterday, eight hours. Uh, trying to do Game Center, I got it working uh, perfectly fine. I can do it inside a note now. Uh, pretty much blindfolded. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment. I'll post code, post links. Uh, yeah, that's about it.